how much has depth meant so far in practice that you have so many more bodies than you did last year? Yeah, I think it's, it's really important uh, to have high quality practices. And uh, that, that's really where, you know, we emphasize our improvement. Probably the biggest difference, we, we had a great summer. I thought all our guys worked really hard this summer. Um, not only in conditioning and skill work, but just being around each other, getting a feel for each other, how they play together. So that's something uh, we didn't have last summer. Uh, and then just the quality of practice, having, like you said, depth. And I, I like the fact that we have, um, at each position, someone to push the guy, uh, com you know, uh, competitively. Uh, so our practices have been uh, very competitive, and I think that's where you get better. So I've, I've been happy with that. Um, so I, you know, I think we've had uh, quality practices this whole month. Go over here on the end. Coach, uh, Chris Barco at the Queens Chronicle. Uh, I asked the same of Coach T when he was up here. Has one newcomer in practice really maybe opened your eyes or impressed you or surprised you more than you anticipated coming into the summer? Well, I think we're in a unique situation where really each and every guy is a newcomer, really, because last year, uh, and myself included, we kind of went through a process of... Um, for the first time, we, we inherited some guys. And so really this, this off season was really the first time we got together as a team. Um, so each and every one uh, really is, is a newcomer. Uh, obviously we have some guys that, that transferred in with truly newcomers, but the guys who sat out last year and our, fr our returning sophomores, um, you know, we feel like this is really our debut. Go to Mark. Coach Mark Rene from 1010 Wins. Next week marks 19 months since you took the job. I'm just wondering, what do you think has made you a better coach between the time you took the gig and now? That's very simple. Better players. I mean, really, I mean, um, and my players know Coach Carneseca, and he's, he's my mentor, and you know, he's taught me a lot. Uh, one thing is he keeps it very simple. So when, when, I, when I introduce the players to Coach, and I'll go down, he's 6'9", he's got long arms, and Coach will say, can he put it in the basket? And then when he says, you want to be a good coach, go get good players. So the, the talent level uh, is, is tremendously uh, improved. And then when you get that, it's really about bringing them together as a team. And that, that's really where our focus has been. Um, Ock talked about practice, putting the emphasis on daily improvement. Um, and then working together, being unselfish. And I think we've done a great job offensively being unselfish, and that's, that's really encouraging. Uh, and I think a lot of times, you know, have, having played for different coaches, a lot, and I tell these guys, sometimes, you know, coaches have you run because that's what you're supposed to do. We, we want to run. We want to be very active. So we, we, we're doing it for a reason. And then a lot of times you hear people say, well, play hard defense, the offense will take care of itself. I truly believe we have a team that can score the ball, and now we really just have to get better collectively as, as defenders. Um, so that's really where our focus has been. Um, but to, to back to your original question, you know, I'll go back to coach, say put in the basket and good, good players. Don't make it too complicated. Hi, Coach. Nick Diamantis from Rumble in the Garden. Um, want to um, touch base on that newcomers question. You have five of them for this year's team that didn't see time last year. Um, what do you see in practice that um, you can incorporate in games this year that wasn't really there uh, with last year's roster? We're doing a lot of the same things. Um, you know, we want to play with pace. We want to play with great spacing on offense. Uh, defense, we want to we want to pressure the ball. We and, and probably the biggest thing is we have more athleticism, more length. 
so it'll make more sense to do a lot of things that we tried to do last year. Um, I think th probably the biggest advantage has been the guys that returned have an idea what we're doing. Um, and last year we had Marcus and Tariq sitting out, so they, they have an idea how our practice goes. But now when you know, we could bring five or six guys up when we started, and the guys behind them can just follow. So last year we were teaching each and every single guy every single day. So we, you know, the, the learning curve has probably been cut in half, uh, so that experience is invaluable. Right here in the front. Hey, new coach Herbert Delancey, Mid-Atlantic Regional Sports. I mean, now that you have the season under your belt, not only as yourself as the head coach, but your coaching staff, how excited are you all to kind of build upon the experience that you learned from last season and translate into what you all do in the court this season? Well, I think that, that's what it's all about. You know, that's, that's what it's about when you put a team together. That's what, what it's about as a teammate. And that's really a microcosm of life, right? So you go through some tough times, you go through adversity, you learn from it. But really, you want to do better. And, uh, you know, discipline and work ethic uh, is very important. But motivation and goals are important, too. And um, so I think the motivation will be built in of what we, because of what we went through. Uh, but then the, the, the daily focus, we all have this big vision. We want to do these great things that's out there, but we can never lose uh, track of what we have to do on a daily basis to accomplish those goals. So, um, like I said, going through a tough season as we did, that's going to be fresh in our minds each and every day of practice, and of course come game time to change those results. We'll take two more questions. Coach, uh, adding um, Shimori and Marcus to Federico and Malik, how do you anticipate that rotation, that, you know, that foursome really working? Have you thought about pairings? Who would play who? Who would play the one? Who plays the two? Have you, can you really maybe uh, give a hint as to what, uh, what Monday may look like? Well, I think one of, the, one of the huge advantages we'll have this year is being able to play multiple lineups. Uh, I love having interchangeable parts. Uh, we practice a lot. Um, different, different lineups to see who, you know, functions well together. We, we've liked a lot of different combinations. You know, a lot of that's going to depend on who we're facing. And then on a given night, we might want to force the other team to, to play big or small. We have, the, we have that ability to do that now. Um, so a lot of times in practice, we try and put different lineups out there. Uh, to see how they function offensively and defensively together. I, I've liked what I've seen with, with different combinations. Um, so having that at our disposal is, is an advantage. And our last question in the back. Hey, Coach. Andy Lipton, W27 newspaper. Will you do anything different this year as a coach, whether it's game management, practices, philosophy, how you approach your players, anything that you want to do differently? I think my daily approach will stay the same. Um, hope to smile more. Hope to, hope to drive home more with, <laughs> with a better feeling. And, but more importantly, um, I want my players to feel that. You know, I, myself and my staff, we've been, we've, we've been through all this. You know, I, want, I want them to feel um, the positive energy you get from putting in hard work. You know, there's nothing like that. And uh, so I'm, I'm excited for the players to uh, get, get the payoff for all their hard work and then come together. You know, there's nothing like being in a locker room and seeing those, you know, your guys feeling good about themselves. And we want to do that as much as possible.